This is Nick with LogosByNick.com, and in today's tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how you can create this impossible star logo using Adobe Illustrator. So we'll go ahead and get started. I'm going to open up a new document here in Illustrator. And for the document size, I'm going to use a custom, doc, uh, a custom template, and I'll make the uh, width 1280 and the height 1280, and I'll use that in pixels. Go ahead and click create so we have our new 1280 by 1280 document and what we want to do first is make sure we have our document set up so that we're all working on the same page here with a similar view so to do that uh, i'm going to go to view and where it says smart guides i'm going to turn that off go back to view where it says snap to pixel turn that turn that off as well and go back to view where it says snap to point we want to make sure that's turned on so leave that on if it's not on already go ahead and select that and out of this view menu that should be the only thing selected and we can click out of that and we're going to want to get these menus up here open as well so to do that i have i have the color menu open the stroke menu and the pathfinder so we can just go to window and we can choose go ahead and select color pathfinder and stroke and that should open up three different flyout menus for you like it does here on my screen and once we've done that we are good to get started so the first thing we're going to do is create our star shape so i'll come over here to the shapes tool uh, yours should be set to rectangle when you first open Illustrator. So just go ahead and click and hold on that rectangle tool and choose the star tool. And then hold shift and alt on the keyboard and click and drag on the canvas to create a star like that. And what I want to do now is fill that in with black and get rid of the black outline. So we'll come over here to where it says uh, swap fill and stroke. Just go ahead and click that, swap it around. I'll go to the uh, select tool. I'm just going to grab this and bring this up here. Uh, what I'll do now is once we've selected that, I'm going to take the opacity of this and bring this down about in half. And what I'll do now is uh, where it says width, we're going to want to make sure we have this constrained width and height proportions. We're going to want that icon turned on and we're going to change the width where it says W. We'll change that to 500. You just double click that, type uh, 500, hit enter. And what I'm going to do now is give this a red outline. So we'll come up here to this uh, little drop down. And I'll choose red from that drop down menu. And that's going to give us a little one point red outline. I'm going to come over where it says stroke. I'm going to change this to 30. I'll hit 30 and hit enter. And then we'll come over to the stroke menu. And for the cap, we want this, this uh, the butt cap all the way in the left. For the corner, we want a bevel join, which is the one all the way to the right. And for the align stroke, we want to choose this one on the left over here. Align stroke to the center. So we end up with something like this right here. And once we've done that, we can go to Object, Path, Outline, Stroke. And once we've done that, we can go to the Shape Builder tool, which is over here. I'm sorry, no, over here, the Shape Builder tool. Shift-M it. Shift -M is the uh, keyboard shortcut. And I'm just going to click and drag to create a line going through those two shapes. And that's going to unify them both together. Then we'll go back to the Select tool. And I'm going to zoom in on this so uh, a little more. I'm just going to hold Alt and roll up the mouse wheel a couple of times to zoom in a little more. Uh, as you can see in my screen, I have this zoomed into 150%. Uh, whatever works best for you in your display, in your monitor, whatever resolution you're working at. Uh, you just, you just want to make sure that we have the entire star within your field of view and we're zoomed in a little bit. So now that we've done that, I'm going to click off of that to deselect everything. And I'm going to grab the pen tool, which is over here. The keyboard shortcut is P. Grab the pen tool. And I'm going to snap the cursor to this top right corner over here and click. And bring this line down to this corner over here and click. And then over to this corner, click, then up to this corner, back to the starting point, and connect it all together. So we end up with this shape going along this side right here. And I'm going to change the color of that to green. So come over to the, uh, the color menu and just change that to green. And what I'll do now is, uh, with the pen tool selected, I'm going to snap to this corner over here. I'm going to create another shape going to this corner, and then over here, then over to this corner, and then back to the start. So we have another one of these shapes going along this side. And I'm going to change the color of this to a blue shade. And once we've done that, we can go back to the Select tool. And I'm going to hold Shift and click on this green shape. So we have both the green and the blue shape selected. And I'll go back to the Shape Builder tool. And I'm going to click on this little blue segment right here. Let me zoom in on that so you can see a little better. This little blue segment right here, I'm just going to go ahead and click on that. Then I'll go back to the Select tool. And what you can see is if you can click off of the graphic to deselect everything, you'll notice that it broke that up into two different pieces and got rid of the green area underneath it. So uh, now that we've done that, let's click off of it to deselect everything. I'm going to click on that shape, and then I'll hold shift and click on this shape, both blue shapes. And I'll come over to the Pathfinder tool, and I'll click on the, uh, the Unite. 
go ahead and click to unite them into one shape and let me zoom back out a little bit come back over here uh, to move the page around I'm just pressing down the space bar and clicking and dragging that's how you do to move the page around like that um, okay so what we'll do now is I'm gonna create a duplicate copy of this blue shape so I'm gonna hold alt and then just click and drag this up here to create a duplicate copy and I'm gonna change the color of this to green then I'll grab the select tool and I'm gonna hold control on the keyboard and while I'm holding control I'm gonna grab this corner down here grab the shape by that corner and snap it to the green corner over here So just snap that onto there like that and once we've done that we can hold shift and click on the star the gray star in the background and with both of those shapes selected we'll go back to the shape builder tool hold alt on the keyboard and just click on this little green object that's sticking out to get rid of that and now we can go back to the select tool and what I want to do is let's click off of the let's click onto the canvas to deselect everything what I want to do now is create a duplicate of this little green arm right here so to do that I'm gonna hold alt and then just click and drag it like that and I'll make this one I'll make this one blue as well so just change that to blue and once I've done that I want to come over to this green object right here click on that hold shift click on this green object and we're gonna combine them both together by clicking the unite button under the pathfinder uh, menu so go ahead and click unite and that should be one object now and what we could do now is we can click on this blue object over here that we just duplicated hold control grab the corner right about here and then just snap it into this corner right here like that and then we could hold shift click on the star and let me move up a little bit uh, we'll go to the shape builder tool and I'm gonna hold alt and click on this piece right here to get rid of that let me move this down a little bit and now we can go back to the uh, select tool and click off of the graphic to deselect everything and by now we should be right about here with what you see on my screen and what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go back to the pen tool and I'm gonna snap to this corner down here and then snap to this corner up here back up here over here and then back to the starting point so we have another one of these legs going across over here and I'm gonna make this one red because we're, we're gonna do something different with this one I'm gonna grab the select tool and I'm gonna click on that red object again so we get our, op our uh, opacity option up here and I'm gonna change the opacity I'm gonna drop that down about in half it doesn't have to be exactly in half just somewhat in half like that that we can click out of that and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna create a duplicate copy of this object by holding alt and then clicking and dragging it up there like that and then I'll hold control grab the corner right about here and then just snap it to this red corner right here so we have these two op red objects uh, on top of each other like that and what I want to do now is hold shift and click on the other red object beneath it so we have both red objects selected and then I'll hold shift and click on this green object up here so we have that selected as well and while still holding shift I'll click on this blue object over here so we have all of that selected and I'm gonna zoom in on this area by holding alt and rolling up the mouse wheel and what we're gonna do now is we'll go back to the shape builder tool which is over here and I'm just gonna draw a shape going through here just like that just to get rid of all those shapes in there now we can go back to the select tool click off of the graphic to deselect everything and I'm just gonna take this and press delete on the keyboard to get rid of that and I'll press delete to get rid of this as well and I'll press delete to get rid of that and I'll hold alt and roll down the mouse wheel to zoom out and then we're left with this up here and we want to take this object and get rid of that as well so I'm just clicking on them and pressing delete and now we're gonna do something similar over here on this side so uh, I'm gonna grab the pen tool again I'm gonna snap to this corner and snap to this corner over here over here and back to the starting point and again we're gonna make this one red we'll go back to the select tool uh, I'm gonna to click on that object to bring up our opacity uh, option and I'm gonna bring the opacity of that down just like I did before and I'm gonna hold alt and click and drag this to the left to create a duplicate copy and then I'll hold control and grab the object at this corner and snap it to that corner right there and again I'm gonna hold shift and click on the red object to the right of it so we have both red objects selected and I'm gonna zoom in on this area right here by holding alt and rolling up the mouse wheel and what I'll do now is I'll hold shift click on that green object and while still holding shift click on this blue object so we have everything there selected and I will go to the shape builder tool again 
and I'll hold Alt and I'll just draw another shape going through here to get rid of all that. Just like that. Now we go back to the Select tool. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. I'm going to click on this shape. Actually, you know what? Let's click off of that to deselect everything. I'll click on this shape, get rid of that. Click on that shape, get rid of that. So what we have here now are the three shapes we need to finish up the rest of our design here. And what we're going to basically do is we're going to create duplicates of these and put them in each corner. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on this blue object and hold shift and click on the green object. And while still holding shift, click on the blue object. And with all three of them selected, I want to group them together by hitting control, control G on the keyboard. It's going to group them all together. And I want to bring the opacity of that down a little bit as well. And we'll click off of that. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a duplicate of this by holding Alt and clicking and dragging it out here. So we have another duplicate shape. And we're going to create duplicates of this and put them in each corner. And we're going to eventually going to end up with what you see here. So to do that, the next step is to hold Control and grab the object at this corner. And we're going to snap it into this corner right here. So let's hold Control, snap that node into there. And let me zoom in on this so you can see it better. The next step for us is to go to the rotate tool. And once we go to the rotate tool, you're going to see this little blue, this little sky blue crosshair in here. You might not see it on my screen, but on yours, if you look closely, it should be there. It, it, it blends in with the green. I should have used a different color, but there's a little sky blue crosshair in there. That, that crosshair represents the axis on which the object rotates when we rotate it. And we want it to rotate around this corner right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab that blue crosshair and make sure you have the cursor over it precisely otherwise it'll start rotating it. We want to be able you should be able to see it now that it's in the blue here. Uh, grab it and just put this crosshair in the corner over here until it snaps in there. Let me zoom out a little bit and what we want to do now is go to view and we want to turn on smart guides for what we're about to do next. And what I'm going to do now basically is I'm going to grab this node and I'm just going to click and drag this around until it snaps into the corner of the star right here. And we can let go. And there we have that in there. And we're just going to do this over again three more times for each corner. So we'll go back to the select tool. I'll hold alt and click and drag this object to grab a copy of it, to create a copy of it. And I'm going to hold control, grab this corner right here and snap it into this corner over here. Let me zoom in a little bit. Again, I'm just holding Alt and rolling up and down the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. And to move the page, I'm pressing down the space bar and then clicking and dragging. And now that we've done that, let's go back to the rotate tool. We're going to see our, you should be able to see it better now, that little, that little uh, crosshair. I'm just going to take that and snap it into the connecting corner up here. And I'm going to take this node and just rotate this around until it snaps into the corner of the star right here. And there we have that. Let me zoom out a little bit, go back to the select tool, hold alt, click and drag this object to create a duplicate copy. And I'm going to hold control, grab this node up here and just snap it into this corner over here. Let me zoom in so we can get a closer look. Go back to the rotate tool and I'm going to grab this little blue crosshair, snap it onto this corner. This should be become, starting to become routine at this point. so. Um, now that we've done that, we could take this node, rotate this around until it snaps into this corner, like that. And we'll, we'll just have to do this one more time. We'll go back to the Select tool, hold Alt, and click and drag this object. And I'm going to hold Control and grab this corner, snap it onto this corner over here. Go to the Rotate tool, put the, put the, uh, the crosshair. Oops. See, that's what happens if you don't grab the crosshair precisely. It starts to rotate. Let me undo that by hitting Control Z. Let me zoom in a little more so I can grab that more precisely. There we go. I know I'll put that in the corner right there. And I want to take this node and just rotate this around until it snaps into the corner of that star right there. And let me zoom out a little bit. And now we can go ahead and turn off Smart Guides by going to View, Turn Off Smart Guides because it's uh, it's 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 an otherwise annoying function, except for when you need it. And then we'll go back to the select tool, and I'm going to take this black star in the background, and we can just press delete on the keyboard to get rid of that. And what we want to do now is click and drag over everything. We have the shape of our star set. 
we just have to color it in now. Or like what I did here in my thumbnail, I made this into outlines. So to do that, I'm going to click and drag over everything. Make sure we ungroup it all by hitting Control, Shift, and G. And I'm going to hit that a few more times just to make sure everything's ungrouped. And up here, where it says this, where we have this little question mark box, I'm going to click on that and choose this red slash to give it no fill. And for the stroke, which is the next one over, I'm going to give this a blue stroke. And for the stroke size, I'll give this maybe a, let's try a 12 point stroke, see how that looks. All right, I'd say that's pretty good. And once we've done that, let's take the opacity of this and bring this down. Click out of that. And for the stroke cap corner and align, align stroke, we want everything on the left selected over here. So you should end up with what you see here with these corners sticking out. We're gonna go fix that in just a second. So what I'm gonna do now is I'll go to object path and choose outline stroke. And that's going, to choose, that's going to turn all of those lines into actual uh, pads that we can go manipulate. Now we're going to go and just clean this thing up a little bit. We'll go back to the Shape Builder tool. And I'm going to zoom in over this area right here by holding Alt and rolling up the mouse wheel. You see these little pieces sticking out? I'm just going to hold Alt and click on it, and that's going to get rid of it. Hold Alt, click on that one, get rid of that. And we're just going to go around and do that to the rest of them. Hold Alt, click on that, click on that, get rid of that just to clean up, make these corners nice and sharp. And again, to move the page around, I'm pressing down the space bar and clicking and dragging. To zoom in and out, hold Alt, roll up and down on your mouse wheel, and then just hold Alt and click to, do, to uh, subtract that object. Let me zoom out a little bit. And we're pretty much there. Yeah, I think we're pretty much there. So. Uh, let me go back to the select tool now and with everything still selected on the Pathfinder menu I'm gonna click this button that says unite Unite everything together into one shape I'm gonna bring the opacity all the way back up to hundred percent and now I'm gonna give it a nice gradient fill like you see here So to do that I'm gonna click on the gradient tab over here if you don't have a gradient tab Just go to window and select gradient and a little fly out window for the gradient should pop up and let me select that object again. I accidentally deselected it. Uh, for the gradient, I'm going to click this drop down and change it to linear. And I'm going to double click this little node over here in the corner, that little white node. And let me choose from this list, this little list icon, change that to RGB. And I'm going to choose a shade of blue, maybe something like that. And over here, I'll double click this node and I'm going to change this. Let me get RGB again. I'm going to change this to maybe like a shade of pink like that. That looks pretty good. I'll click out of that. And I'm going to, what I'm going to do now is grab the gradient tool, which is right here. Or you can just press G on the keyboard. And I'm going to rotate this around. Actually, you know what? When we get this line, you're going to want to bring your cursor to just to the outside of the line. And once you get it to the outside of that node, that line right there, your cursor is going to change into a little rotate icon. And that's how you know you can now rotate it. So once, you, once it turns into that little rotate icon, you can just click and drag and rotate it around. And you can actually hold shift to rotate it on, uh, I believe this is um, 15 degree angles like that. I'm just gonna bring it up here so it's going perfectly vertical like that. And I'm just gonna click and drag this node and bring this down here to the bottom of the, sh uh, the star shape. And then you can just take it, you can just click this node and bring that down or up and just adjust it how you see fit. You could add more pink or add more blue or whatever you want to do. Maybe I'll go like that. And once you're done, you can just go to the select tool and click off it to deselect everything. And that's pretty much it. You can see we have now created our impossible star logo using Adobe Illustrator. So uh, if you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching.